So in this video, we are going to see how to create a table. And then we're going to add columns. So like you had a table already set up and then suddenly there is a need arise to add another column so you can have data. For example, we were working on that uh, uh, college uh, admission forms and you know they have added something then a new field that we need to store data in so we can do that so for, for this or it's like a list for example I, I can create first thing first we are in master so we have to create a database or create a uh, or use another database what we can do is we can create a database so it will re revise how to create database and database name will be nyc and let's see if can can we run and will it create a database in here uh let's see there's no nvc right now nyc so if i execute it it says successfully and it's not here so let's refresh it it appeared so let's go here and type use nyc can we do that will it change here from master to nyc it did now in here i can create table right that's the in database i can create tables so if i'm just creating <coughs> for example I can name the table in NYC as well, probably, but uh, NY, let's do it NY City, right? And give it, uh, let's give it a borough. Like I can see, it's the Bronx. I can make columns, right? So, I can create uh, let's say Bronx and <clears throat> Bronx is all uh, it's not numbers right what we are going to store it will depend are we st storing name in it we are storing integer like numbers in it or we are storing um, decimal so all that for that we can do anything so we have to define the type is it uh, integer are we storing numbers in here or are we are storing characters so we can do and we can set the limit as um, let's go with this limit limit I would say if we're storing names hundred is enough So 100 and that's it. <clears throat> so at this point, I have two options. If I want to add another borrow name, I can put a comma and go there, or I can put just this, end it, run it. Let's see, <clears throat> syntax near Bronx. So, oh, it should have been like this. and another see that's why it is very important to practice now it's um, completed successfully so what what happening is that first one told that this is the table name this one is the column name and this is the type and then i'm not n not adding any more columns so <clears throat> that's how you create a table and database if i go and type in sp if underscore help you will remember that again use the <coughs> tip uh, the actual table name so my table name is ny city so if i were to execute it it will show me the there's a column named Bronx and it's variable character 
so this is how you create a new table and a column but that's not what we want the actual scenario was that something changed that uh, we need to add another column for that now we're gonna add another column that's going to be Bronx I lived in Queens so let's add Queens now so if you remember the alter command we're gonna use that same thing we're gonna alter what are we altering a table right we are adding a column to a table so we're gonna say table and next thing what we're going to which table maybe there are three tables in this database so that table name is NY city <coughs> and what are we doing we are adding so add what we are adding a column name we named this column again what we are doing we can do this right there and for Queens again hundred we can <coughs> again making the same mistake probably or not let's see that was no that was created this time we are altering so let's put in here see if it runs or not if not then we can always add another it successfully so since we were not creating when you're creating that's when you will go with this set uh, this set but uh, if you're just altering you don't have to you can simply add since the command is successful <clears throat> I can copy paste this one here but I can run it from here right so whatever makes you easier I'm gonna copy it and paste it just to be sure that what were the steps taken and if I execute it it's gonna show me Bronx and Queens two columns that's how you add a column to an existing table.